Johanna. Johanna. My journals are always an eclectic mishmash of things that in the end somehow come together to represent my life. I hold photographs or images I love, drawings, lists and other bits and pieces from my everyday that most people would probably just throw away. Our lives, no matter how mundane, constantly present us with opportunities to document them in fun and creative ways. So in this video, I hope to inspire you to keep a journal too, by sharing some of my favourite ways I fill my journal pages. The first most obvious way to fill your journal is to write. Writing can be as simple as writing about your day, to planning your tomorrow, journaling your struggles or your aspirations. Words are such a powerful and easy way to help you remember your life how you once felt would help you work through difficult emotions or gain clarity in your thoughts. Photographs in journals are another simple way to give your pages meaningful substance. Pictures paint a thousand words and they help tell part of a story about you, those you love, the places you go, or whatever else you capture on camera. Something else I always do in my journals is use the pages to collect things together. Fabric swatches, stamps, stickers, tea tags or movie tickets, clothing tags. If you have enough of something to make a collection, it must be some sort of theme in your life, so why not document it? Sometimes I draw straight into my journals or sometimes I stick loose drawings into my journals, but I just love how it adds so much extra interest to my pages. Sometimes drawing can be even more therapeutic than writing out words, especially when you don't know exactly what to say. Another good page filler is quotes. You can quote someone you know and admire, a movie or a book, or just find a quote that inspires you from the internet. Write them out in fun typography and even use them as a journaling prompt. They will inspire you again and again as you flick through your pages. Whenever I write a list and have it floating around on loose paper, I always make sure to stick it into my journal. Sometimes it's the imperfect scribbles and scrawlings that give the truest insight to who you are. Gratitude journaling is an easy journal prompt you can use every single day. Just write about something that you feel grateful for, or you can write a whole list. This can be such an uplifting journal prompt to continuously remind us to look on the bright side. When I don't feel like writing though, collage is my best friend. I like to glue in patterns or images that I like or that inspire me. If something speaks to your soul, even if you don't know why, it's worth putting it in your journal. Everything that you like is worthy. You can find images and patterns from magazines, books, pattern paper or junk papers. Collaging is the technique that can help you layer more meaning into your journal pages. Whenever I buy something or order something online, I'm often impressed with the pretty packaging that things come in, so I just put them in my journal too. It can be especially cool when you have packaging from an item that you bought for someone else, or if you treated yourself to something special, you can use these pieces to prompt your journaling, as well as being a visual reminder of your memories. If you want to keep mementos of those you love within your pages, have your friends or family write or draw in your journal. They can write you a note or a memory of a time you shared together. And having someone else's handwriting is somehow so personal now that so much of our lives are digitized. Whenever I can, I pick a flower or a leaf from the places that I go and I keep it in my journal. I usually press my flowers within the pages and later glue them down or put tape or contact paper over the top to keep them intact. I also like to use my journal pages to do swatches of new art supplies or even cosmetic products like nail polish or art supplies like washi tape. Usually I'm just testing out a new set of paints or markers, but a page full of swatches just becomes so pleasing to look at. Another idea to fill up your journal is to just take it with you whenever you go somewhere. If you go on a holiday or a road trip, keep a travel journal of your time. You can keep receipts, postcards, food packaging, photographs and other mementos along the way. Some other simple things to put into your journal are cards or notes you receive, junk mail or recipes, song lyrics you like. You can write out the dreams you have or just create a mood board of things that inspire you. 
The best part is there are no rules. Your journal is your safe space and whatever you feel inclined to put into it will become just one very small part of your story. But yet altogether, it will hold an abundance of memories and moments you may have otherwise forgotten.